In this video, we'll learn to master the Figma masking feature so that you can create things like this in like 30 seconds. So let's go. When it comes to masks in Figma, you actually have two options. You have image fills and then you have regular masks. We're gonna look at image fills first. Image fills are good for cases where you just need to mask a single image. And how do we use it? Well, we can go to the top here click this rectangle, then we go to place image. That's one way of doing it. We could also create something, so a shape, an object. We could go to the fill, click on solid here, go to image, and then choose an image. Both valid options, you do however you want to do it. So I go to this shape, I click the fill, click solid, image, choose image, and then I choose an image. What if I wanna change the position of the image? Well, then I go to fill, I click crop and I can choose the position of the image. All right, we can also use this for text objects. So let's click the text. Let's go to place image up here instead. Click place image, click this cool looking lion. I'll click the text where I want it to be applied. And boom, we have it. Then I can do the same thing to move the image. So I choose the crop option and I can move the image up and down however I want to. Now let's jump over to the other option, which is the actual masking option, which is the most used option when it comes to masking. And this is good for most other use cases. You can find the mask in the top, uses mask. That's the button you hit when you mask stuff. A typical use case would be when we have two or more objects that we want to mask. Now let's actually look at it in practice. So we have this circle, this shape, we have these two text fields, and we want these text fields to be within the circle. We want the circle to kind of mask these objects. The thing masking should be in the background always. So when I drag this here, we can see it's in the background. So that's good. And we target it and we click use as mask. As you can see here, we don't have a background on this currently. So the gray here doesn't apply. What we'll have to do is we'll have to put a background layer inside of here, move it to the bottom, but above the mask and maybe call it background. And then we can choose a color we want. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you is a super cool bonus thing. Imagine if everybody who watched the video subscribed, liked, or commented. That would be so sick. Oh, hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. Let's continue with the video. Stylized PNG masks. So what we can do here is we can take a PNG image. In this case, this woman here we can take that and use that as a shape mask for an awesome looking background like this. We're gonna end up with something like this. Then we can take a copy of our first image, the woman, add that to the top of the stack and add a blend mode to achieve something like this. So let's see how it works in practice. I take this woman, put it in the background, target both or select both images, use his mask. Now we have that. I'll take this copy of the first image, copy, paste inside, go to the fill option and go to blend mode up here this little drop icon, click it, and then I can play around with different vibes here. So I can do screen, I can do hard light, I can do soft light, whatever you feel is cool, play around with it because you can achieve amazing things. Now, if you liked this type of content, I have a bunch of tutorials just like this on the channel. So feel free to check it out. Anyways, we'll talk in the next one. So take care, talk soon and ciao.